नमस्ते टू एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टूडे आई विल डेली वार लेक्चर ऑन एनालिटिकल डिनेमिक्स और क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स चैप्टर कॉन्स्ट्रेंड मोशन लेक्चर नंबर टू इन हुईच आई विल डिस्क्राइब अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द डिनेमिकल सिस्टम फर्स्टली आई विल डिस्क्राइब अबाउट द कॉन्स्टेंट्स इम्पोज ऑन द डिनेमिकल सिस्टम एंड काइंड ऑफ फोर्सेज एक्ट ऑन द डिनेमिकल सिस्टम देन आई विल गिव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द डिनेमिकल सिस्टम नाउ वी डिफाइन नंबर वन इज क्लेरोनोमिक जियोमेट्रिकल कॉन्स्टेंट when constraint imposed on the dynamical system is expressible in the form of an equation function of r mu equal to 0 mu equal to 1 2 dot 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 n where R mu's are the connecting position vectors of the particles, and this system is called is claironomic geometrical constant. Number two, rionomic geometrical constant. When the constraint imposed on the dynamical system is expressible. in the form of an equation function of t time r mu position vector this equal to 0 mu equal to 1 2 dot 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 n where r mu are connecting vectors of the particles and t be the time and the system is called rionomic geometrical constraints and here we see that in the first case the function f is the function of position vector only and in the second case we see that function f is the function of position vector as well as time function is not the function of velocities so geometrical constants restrict the position of the particles in the space number 3 holonomic and non holonomic a dynamical system subject to इंटीग्रेबल डिफरेंशियल कॉन्स्टेंट एलोन इज कॉल्ड होलोनोमिक डिफरेंशियल कॉन्स्टेंट इन दिस केस द भेलोसिटी भेक्टर आर म्यू डॉट इज इनवॉल्व वी नो दैट द कॉन्स्टेंट इक्वेशन for differential constants be of the form function of t position vector r mu velocity vector r mu dot this equal to 0 here this is in the derivative form r mu dot means differentiation of r mu with respect to t if it is holonomic then it is integrable therefore the equation may be 
made free from derivative therefore this equation may be made as follow function phi this function is the function of t and r mu only because we get the solution of this differential equation and this will be of the form this if the dynamical system is subjected to non integrable differential constraints then the dynamical system is called non holonomic number 4 conservative and non conservative system for the motion of the dynamical system the forces act on the system play an important role if the forces can be derived by differentiating potential function with respect to r mu position vector then forces are called potential time and if there does not exist any potential force function then forces are known as non potential type a dynamical system subjected to potential type of forces is called conservative system whereas if it is subjected to non potential type of forces then it is called non conservative system number 5 simple system and general system the dynamical system which are is scalarnomic conservative and holonomic are known as simple system the dynamical system which are either renomic or non conservative or non holonomic or combination of two or all will be called general dynamical system hence on the basis of kinds of constraints and forces act on the dynamical system we may classify the dynamical system as follow here classification of dynamical system there is an eight fold classification of all dynamical systems according to different types of constants and forces to which the dynamical system may be subjected number 1 scalarnomic or rhionomic number 2 conservative or non conservative number 3 holonomic or non holonomic number 4 simple or non simple that is general thanks for watching my video if you are satisfied with my presentation and contents then please click on like button and do subscribe my youtube channel thank you